Hello, I'm Sophie from Healthy You East Cams and I'm here to talk to you about general health and well-being, whatever that might mean to you. Um, it's really important for all of us to take our health and our well-being seriously. And there are lots of ways that we can do that, whether it's uh, with the, what we're putting into our body through uh, nutrition and our diet, whether it's how we're moving our body with physical activity um, and exercise, or whether it's what makes us feel good, a chat with a friend, uh, meeting up for a, for a social with somebody. All of these things help to give us a really good feeling of general good health and well-being. So there are a few things that you can do and you can be mindful of um, that will help improve these areas of your life. We're going to start with a little bit on nutrition. Now, uh, you may well be aware of something called the Eat Well Guide, uh, which is basically a plate. And on the plate, as you can see, it's broken up into different sections. We've got um, our veg fruit and vegetables in here, our leafy carbs. We've got our carbohydrates over in the yellow section. We've got proteins in the pink and a dairy or dairy alternatives there in the blue. And all the other things, like uh, things that don't really belong on the plate, how much water to drink and so on, they're all here as recommendations. Now, the point of this, the idea of this is just to, so that you are mindful when you're preparing your meal to make sure that uh, your plate is balanced, that you've got this sort of amount of, of, of leafy carbs and vegetables on your plate, this, that you, this proportion of pro, um, carbohydrates, proportion of protein and so on. It's just there as a guide. Um, having a balance in our diet is really important. Making sure that we're eating a variety is really important. We get so many different things out of the different food groups that having a, a, a good balance, an overall balance of them all is vital to our good health. Something else to consider if you're already really good at making sure that you're, uh, you're eating a really balanced diet Something else to think about is the portion size. Um, we have some information available that can help you with sort of general portion sizes. Um, but a really handy tip, no pun intended, but let's go with it. A handy tip to think about portion sizes is literally to use your hand. Um, so we, if we think about the whole hand, this is this is the amount if you put it there the amount of uh, vegetables that we should be looking at on our on our plate as our portion of vegetables okay then we have a cup to so make a cup with your hand and we have a cup of carbs so uh, whatever potatoes or rice or the starchy things uh, that you can fit into the cup size that's your carbs we then think about the palm of the hand for protein so palm for protein that's the, the size that you're looking at. Um, we can have a thumb for fats, or if it helps you to remember it, a thumb for fats, uh, fats even, I can't even get my teeth around it. A thumb for fats, okay? And a uh, fist for fruit. So that's your portion of fruit. That's a lot to remember, but it's quite handy, again, no pun intended, to use your hand as a rough guide. It's really important, actually, that we don't always automatically assume that everyone should have the same portion sizes. If you think about your hand and the hands of the people around you, everyone is different. So if we're giving ourselves far too big a portion that's much bigger than our hand, then probably we're overfeeding our body. And our bodies just can't, we can't use it and we can't make it work for us. So we don't need it. So there we go. Couple of tips. Eat well guide thinking about the different proportions of food and the balance and the range of food that you're putting into your diet and your portion sizes. Two really quick, really easy things just to think about. How um, maybe make one small change. Is it gonna be a portion size that you, that you think about? Is it gonna be uh, something from the food groups that you're missing on your plate that you're gonna change up? Maybe it's just a variety of color. Let's get some more color into the diet. All of these things are going to help. So have a little bit of fun with that. Think about using your hand um, and uh, see how you get on. Secondly, 
Second thing to think about is physical activity. Now, being physically active is so important. Just moving our bodies is vital to our, to our overall health. It doesn't have to be a sweaty 45 minute exercise class. It can be a simple, gentle 10 minute walk. It could be getting up, walking around your house. It could be standing and doing some strength and balance exercises whilst your kettle is boiling. But it's really important to move, that we're not just sitting for long, long periods of time. OK, so there's lots that you can do. Like I say, whether it's a walk, let's get out for a walk, do some gardening. Even the housework counts as physical activity. But just be really mindful that if you've been sat for a while, it's time to get up and it's time to do something else. There are some really simple to follow, easy exercises that you can do in your home um, when you're doing something else. So mindful exercises such as standing on your toes, raising your um, heels off the ground, using your countertop or, or back of a sofa or something as a balance if you need to, strengthening through the feet and the ankles, standing on one leg, doing some uh, 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 heel toe walking. So one foot in front of the other, which will help with, with balance as you're getting around the house. Uh, all of these things, they're all movements and they're all sort of things that we can do while we're watching the telly or boiling the kettle. They don't have to be complicated, but finding time to break up every hour with some sort of movement, that's what's really important. That is going to be key. Get that blood flowing, get the body moving, get the muscles working. You'll feel better for it, definitely. Could even be a stretch. Could even be a stretch any time of the day. Stretching doesn't just have to be for morning and for evening. There are some wonderful stretches that you can access if, if, you, if YouTube is available to you. Some gentle Pilates or gentle yoga stretches that just help you wake up in the morning and help you to calm down in the evening. And again, they're really good for the body. Thinking about our mental health and our general well-being, we've talked about um, nutrition, we've talked a little bit about being active and getting out there. Um, also think about the social side of things. Have you considered uh, volunteering? Would you be open to do some volunteering? We have some wonderful walking groups, um, really sociable, lovely walking groups that meet up regularly and we're always looking for new volunteer walk leaders. If that's something that you think you'd like to do or be interested in, that, that would be a really wonderful way to mix with people, to get out and about, to get your body moving, to be sociable, but also to be giving something back, which makes us feel good. Um, so there's lots and lots of opportunities. OK, so think about those things that you can do. Think about making that one little change. What promise are you going to make to yourself? What pledge are you going to take? We've got lots of resources that can help you, um, it, whether it's a conversation with me, whether it's an email, whether it's a little booklet with some information and healthy hints. This is a great one, actually. It's got about the portions and things inside. It's also got some guidelines about physical activity on the back. You could get in touch if you'd like one of these. Or if you'd like to know more about the volunteering opportunities or the walking groups or a gentle strength and balance type class that, that might be happening near you um, or walking sports or whatever it is. There's something out there for everyone. I, I really do believe that. So please do get in touch with me. I'm Sophie Dalper. Um, my details will be with uh, follow with this uh, video. And uh, yeah, we're here to help you. But enjoy getting out there, getting active, getting out in the sunshine. Um, enjoying the outdoors, enjoying getting your body moving and enjoying making those one or two little changes that are just going to make a difference. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.